Damn why? This is Offering Something, and I am your host, Michael Bernier. Feeling so good to be alive. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to the show. You know I love it when you do that. You are so sweet. You are leaders with a purpose. Today, we are soaking up the sunshine. Yeah. Good news, y'all. We have hit a milestone on offering something. Yeah. What is the milestone? What is the good news? Well, here it is. Might confuse you, but the number, the amount of negative feedback has evened out with the positive feedback. That means the haters are on the rise. And we all know that you cannot be successful if you don't have haters. They're out there sharing and commenting and sending messages Oh, boy, haters, I love you. You are good, good people. Although I wouldn't be spending my time doing things I don't want to do. Yeah, that's not a good vibe. (laughs) Do you love working from home? Hmm. A recent study shows that 48% of the people would take a pay cut to continue to work from home. Now, why would they want to do this? What are some of the benefits that people are finding from working from home? So much so that they would take a pay cut to do this. Well... People suggest that they are the study suggests that people are happier and more productive when working from their homes. It also reduces the amount of traffic. This is a positive impact. What else does it do? It lessens the negative effect and impact that we have on our environment. How does it do this? By not driving as much and the emissions from our vehicles are not there to create that negative impact on the environment. What else is going on? Why would people take a pay cut, make less money to work from home? They say they're saving money on other things, y'all, like gasoline. Those purchases that you make throughout the day to pass the time, the coffee on the way in, the coffee on your lunch break, that little snack attack before you go home, childcare, these kinds of things. Yes, yes, yes. You can wear whatever to work. When you work from home, your schedule is more flexible. What's your thought? What are the pros and cons, the positive and negative impacts of working from home? (laughs) You have got to exercise. Yeah, you do. I know I say it all the time. I can't stop with exercise. Use your body, my friends. This right now is a great opportunity for you to be sure that you're making time to exercise. A lot of us have a lot of free time, not going to work, exercise. You don't need much, a six by six space, and you can get it all in. Push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, running in place, jump up and down, definitely take the time to sweat. Look, man, just jumping up and down, making sure you're using your body, running in place. Do it for 15 minutes, high knees, and break a sweat. Exercise, y'all. Stay healthy and stay happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Open or close? Should we be open or should we remain closed here? Yeah. There is certainly a lot of talk going on on this topic. That is the truth. 
Actually, thousands of people have gathered all over the country to protest the lockdowns that are in place. We've seen this go on in Chicago, Illinois, in Los Angeles, California, in Michigan. Armed protesters stormed the Capitol building demanding to let them in, open up the state. Yeah, armed. Well, it's legal in Michigan. You can carry a weapon as long as it's visible and you're doing so with law lawful intent. Now, 21 states have eased the restrictions on the lockdown. What do you think should be going on? Meanwhile, I'm out here getting my food delivered, wiping every single item off before it comes into the house, not interacting with other people. Yeah, what do you think should go on? Open, close, what's the word, y'all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did your career disappear? Poof. It's gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, prior to the COVID-19, I spent my time traveling around the United States of America as a master of ceremonies and happiness. <laughs> yeah, that is the truth. I was also performing with my band Freevolt. That's how I live my life out there, 100% thriving off of large gatherings. Now, it has drastically changed. Hundreds of shows and events are canceled. I don't do that. I, my, I'm living in a new world. My career has disappeared. I've done this interview with many people. Recently, the Hippo Magazine, uh, newspapers calling and saying, hey, man, your career has disappeared. What now? What now? Yeah, I put so many years into developing that and loving it, and it was everything. And maybe it'll come back. Maybe it won't. But I'll tell you what I'm not doing and what you shouldn't do if you think your career has disappeared is sit around, mope, and wait to see what happens. It's not time for waiting. We're not letting days go by. Take action. Create your lane. What do you want to do? Just pull it out of thin air and make it real. If your career is gone, make a new one. What do you love? Where are you going to get fulfillment and where are you going to find some sort of monetary success? Figure it out. Make it real. You do or you don't. Yeah. It's your time right now, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Ah. Uh, it's a tough time for music venues. It's a tough time for music venues. Yeah. Well, we are seeing a lot of music venues are struggling as a result of the current COVID-19 situation. Many are closing. And we saw one just announced that it's gone. A staple institution in the Boston music scene, Great Scott, announced that it is closing as a result of the landlords letting them know that you will not be renewing the lease. Now... Ah, manager Tim Philbin announced this with a heavy heart. It's sad to see the great Scott in Alston, Massachusetts be gone. A lot of music venues are disappearing, cannot handle being shut down for this long. Sending some love to great Scott. Why are we on the topic of love? Yeah, y'all know what time it is. It's the spotlight of love the spotlight of love <laughs> yeah <laughs> today we are shining that spotlight of love on a united states supermarket chain called publix now why would you shine a spotlight of love on publix let me tell you why i'm doing that publix out of the goodness of their heart 
is purchasing food from struggling farmers and giving that food to families in need. They're going out there where farmers are now struggling to sell their produce. They're purchasing that produce from local farmers and giving it to families in need through the Feeding America program. Yeah, just in the first week, in the first seven days, they bought 150,000 pounds of produce and gave it away and 43,500 gallons of milk and gave it to people that are in need. Publix, I got some love for you. I don't know much about you. I shop all up in you when I'm hanging out in Florida, but Publix, you got some love. We recognize that. Thank you for doing a good thing. Look at you. <laughs> Oh, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple things to remember. Remember these things. Cold showers. <laughs> Still saying it, y'all. When you're taking your nice warm shower, cleaning yourself, getting all lathered up, at the end of that thing, turn the faucet. Here it goes. Turn the faucet to as cold as possible and let that ice cold water runneth over your body. <laughs> Do this for 30 seconds for the first seven days and then shift to 60 seconds at the end. I want you counting slow and breathing in and out. Remember to take cold showers. You gonna feel, you know what I'm gonna say, alive. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Also remember, break a sweat every day. Every day. Well, six out of seven is cool. Break a sweat. Sweat dripping out of your face. Coming out of your skin, out of your chest, your armpits. I want to see you sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Sweat it out. Use your body, you beauties. <laughs> And also, it's a perfect day out here in the North Shore of Massachusetts to start your garden. Get out there, plant a seed, watch it grow, eat the clean food that you create. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, a couple things. <laughs> I'm still getting a kick out of Cameo. Oh man, it's fun checking out like these once upon a time famous people, actors making their little video like, give me the loot, give me the loot, and I'll make you a special message for your birthday or your graduation. Holding the phone all angled up like an old person not knowing what they're doing. I'm like, what is going on? You'll get a kick out of Cameo. Check out some videos on there, but save your dollars for something nice. Do some good. <laughs> Another thing, right? My favorite jeans, well, one of my pair of favorite jeans, were put to rest. There's too many holes. The ribs got too big. But look at this. I done turned them into my yard shorts now. <laughs> Whoa, I got some cut off jeans now. <laughs> We're having fun, that's for sure. All right, y'all know what time it is. I forgot on the last show. I'm sorry, I got a couple messages about it. But it's time for us to laugh together. Prepare. Three. Two, oh, one, it's laughing time! Ah! <laughs> yeah, you can see it, you can see it now. The joy and the little pieces of my mind just falling on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. I got to take 
a hot second for my sponsors. Let me give some love to Enjoy Your Life. Everything Enjoy Your Life brand. What you want to let people know? That you enjoy your life, yeah. Also, big love to the Higher Education Music and Arts Festival in Lebanon, Maine. Check it out, highereducationfest.com. Yeah, why? Hey, consider this. Yeah, a good idea. Hmm. Be yourself. <laughs> Everybody else is already taken. <laughs> this right here is offering something. And I am your host, Michael Bernier. Stay hip with me. Let's get connected on all the social platforms. We'll play together with friends. Facebook backslash Michael Bernier and the Uprising on that Instagram jam at Enjoy Michael Bernier. I love you for tuning into the show. Look at me. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. Hold on. Let's look in each other's eyes. I love you. Really, a lot of respect and appreciation for tuning into the show. Mm hmm. Well, y'all, that is it. We are out of this place now. I love you. Oh, oh, oh. Enjoy your day. Yeah.